Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on work with package module streams. So package modules allows you to install multiple different, uh, to have multiple different versions of a particular package available in the same um, DNF repository. So in some cases you may want to have, uh, for example, different versions of PHP, for particular scripts that only support that particular version, or Python, or um, Postgres is another good example. Um, all these applications may require a particular version, and of course, in in some cases, you may want not want the most up to date version. Perhaps it's uh, support from the app for the application, or um, if the actual code itself has been written for that particular uh, for that particular version. To view the modules. It, as always, into command prompts, and let's do a DNF module list. So these are the current modules that have been created for Red Hat 8. So let's have a look at this list. You can see it's pretty comprehensive. There's obviously a lot of um, names you may recognize. Stuff like uh, GIMP, for example, you can install the uh, GIMP module and you'll have GIMP installed almost straight off. Uh, you've got like MariaDB there, and you've got uh, particular different versions. So you can see you've got a common and a devel, or development, and you've got a little D against that, which is the default uh, option. So if you just say um, yum, uh, sorry, DNF module install, and then GIMP, it'll install GIMP 2.8 common. Okay, so if you want to install the devel version, you do 2.8 and then set specified devel. We can we will do that in a minute. So you get another one example is a uh, HTTP daemon, which is the Apache HTTP server, and you, again you've got common devel and the minimal options there. Um, the one we're going to use is PHP, it's a scripting language, and you can see there's two different versions available. There's 7.2 and 7.3. And again, you've got the common, which is the default, and 7.2 is the default version. And we've got devel and a minimal option. So I will go and let's get some information about that PHP profile. So DNF module info, and then profile PHP. OK, so you can see now there's all these options listed. So you've actually got. PHP and a version number, and you can see which packages are in available in the various um, optionals. So you've got PHP uh, common, and you've got it comes with all these different packages. You've got development version, which comes with additional packages, or you've got the minimal option, which is just these two packages. And you'll see that it pretty much repeats for the different versions that are available. So you could obviously specify a very, very specific version if that's something you're interested in, or you could perhaps go for a later version, or or maybe you want just a minimal install, for, for example. So if I just do a, um, a DNF module install, and in PHP, you can see it's going to install 7.2.11, and it's actually installing the PHP common option is what we mentioned as well. So it's it's a not too big package so we can go and install it and I can just do a remove afterwards. Okay so let's install the PHP module. So let's now uninstall it so let's do a clear to make that clean. DNF module um, remove PHP. It will remove all the packages we've just installed. After you have done a module remove, you need to do a module reset to then clear the module. So DNF module reset and then PHP. And that will reset the module. And if we do a clear and then do DNF module uh, list and we do a grep for PHP. Oops spell module correctly
Okay, so we've got 7.2 is the default again, so PHP 7.3. Cool. So now, if we want to install perhaps uh, PHP 7.3 and we want the minimal install, how are we going to achieve that? So we can be very specific in the module install. So we can do DNF module install PHP and then the version. So colon version and then 7.3 and then the exact version we, we want as well. So I can say common devel minimal here. I don't have to specify common. But minimal, we will have to specify, so I'll do that. And you can see it's just installing those PHP common and PHP CLIs we saw earlier. And you can see, yeah, module preference is PHP minimal and the module stream is 7.3. Let's just install those two packages. And PHP will be installed in version 7.3. We can check PHP's version, PHP minus V, and we can see 7.3. And again, to just remove that again, so DNF module remove PHP, and then DNF module reset PHP. And that is it. So that is pretty much all there is to talk about with regards to working with package module streams. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty, pretty quick one. Uh, this is the end of the video, so you'll just put the usual stuff on the screen. Um, please note I've opened a Discord channel. Uh, the link is in the description below, and that will allow you to ask questions uh, if you need, if you have any. Uh, I'll try and help out as much as I can. We've also got on the screen now my the Sophos Home Premium that Sank you're interested in. We've got the hosting for the VPS solution. Also do web web hosting, all that sort of amazing stuff. I've um, got my tea public for my merchandise and then finally just uh, the Kofi page for any um, donations which would be greatly appreciated. Well, thank you very much guys. Um, I'll catch you next video. All the best.